Hello everyone, welcome to video two of my DIY redecorating project. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to cover yet, but this is where we're up to. I've spent about an hour and a half on Skype with Grandpa this morning, working out some of the issues that I've come across. Um, he's also come to the conclusion this probably doesn't need to come off, as it's probably just the painted paper on top of plasterboard, which is good, because I've tried and I can't get it off. We've worked out what I need to do to get the radiator off so I don't need to get a plumber in and we've been working out what I need to do to put an extra plug socket in. So today we are going to cut the holes in the wall to put a new plug socket in. We need to make a space for a backing plate and then cut a hole down the wall for the cable to go under the floorboards. And then that's about it as we're waiting on more things from Amazon to turn up. Um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So for those of you who don't know and haven't been here, in my spare room, there is one singular plug socket in the entire room. One plug, nothing else anywhere, which is ridiculous, which is why I'm going to change that one to a double and I'm going to put a new one in. Now, one thing I didn't know is that the floorboards run the entire length of the room and then go under the wall. I didn't know this, I thought they'd be much shorter and they'd be much easier to pull up. I wanted to plug in the corner. But because of this, the plug is going to have to go opposite the other one so the cable can just run under the floorboards nice and easy. So what I've done is I've marked out on the wall here where it's going to go. Those of you wondering why this is off to the side, it's because these circles in the bottom are where the cable goes through and they aren't central. And we're going to replaster again afterwards. So that's going to go into the wall there. Then the cable will run down and go under the floorboard and we're going to add a spur to that one. So here we go. This is what we're using. We have a special masonry piece. This is what we're going to cut out to make sure the depth is correct for the box. And we're going to see how this is going. I've got a little test of piece and honestly it goes through it like butter. Right, we haven't died, which is good. We've chopped this piece out, which was the plaster, which has fallen out nice and easy. And this piece has come out of here, nice and easy. If we get this, then it fits. Happy days, it obviously just needs to be sunk a bit more. So, this is a special brick chisel. So we're going to have a go, well, I've already had a little go, of hammering this bit out seeing how much deeper we need to go. Uh, maybe a bit more on this side. And yeah, let's see how this goes. Sorry to my neighbors for the next bit, but hey ho. Right, just to finish up this little segment. So I've tidied the room now, as you can see. This is screwed in, it's secure, it's in place, it's flush behind the wall. It just obviously the wall needs repairing now and the cable needs putting in. But the cable, well, the plug won't be live until after I've plastered. And then these are the front plates I've got. So that will be screwed in when it's all plastered and they will be my new plugs. So I'm very happy with what I've achieved today. And that's going to be it for a little while now because there are people staying and I've cleared the room so I'm not going to make a mess again. So.
Ta-da! Had a haircut. Final update for this video. Uh, you've just seen the plastering course. You've seen the torrential rain that flooded the unit from the first weekend and then the finished product. I didn't take that many pixel videos. There's not that much to show you. Um, you've also just seen me scraping all the paint off of the door frame or most of it. Enough for it to be painted. The door is off, obviously. Enough for it to be painted again when, rather than doing that once I've plastered the walls and making a mess of them. This room is ready to go. I'll show you the last few things I've done. I have, so obviously this door frame, albeit mostly still white, is ready for painting. The electrics are safe behind these plastic covers that can be plastered and painted over. The walls have been lightly sanded, so they're ready to go. The radiator is gone. That was a nightmare. Well, getting them off was easy, but then the thermostat thing on that end started leaking. So I had to, not quickly, it was only trickling. I had to go to the plumbing shop to go and get a new one. There's the radiator. And learn how to install that, which meant draining all the radiators and all the boiler system and then refilling it. And then I had one cold radiator and it was all just a nightmare. Obviously, the room needs clearing and emptying before I do my plastering, but I bought everything I need, which is what that thing's for as well. Although it's far too big, but we're going to make do. I learned to my plastering course, you can't plaster onto brick. So I stole some plasterboard and I've cut that to shape and glued that in. I filled this gap a little bit as well with some wall filler ready for the plastering because you could plaster onto that that was a bit deep just for plaster so that's good to go so yeah next video will be plastering so we'll see you then bye